Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. I'm gonna show you probably what is going to be the last design of uh, before Christmas. And I think it's special. And it's another easy, easy way, fast. And now let's play with colors. I'm gonna show you my first attempt and then we're gonna see what is gonna happen when it's done because I don't even know. But I think after making one attempt, uh, I have um, kind of an idea. Look at this. This is going to represent a very cute uh, Christmas alpaca. Yep, what? Yes, this is my <laughs> representation of a Christmas alpaca because look, I saw that picture, that picture on Google. So I was looking for cute Christmas alpaca and it came that one. Now we can change maybe the angle uh, and just kind of like, um, I think it was more like this. So then it's kind of like a funny way, but if you have it already, like you want people to see more this angle, you can always turn the head. And there is a very cute alpaca I made for a Valentine's. This is the alpaca in love. It's on a playlist. Should I make a playlist for alpacas? Because I have a lot of cute, you know, ways to make alpacas. So this is one way <laughs> and I think it's cute. Now, I'm gonna maybe play with other colors. Uh, this is this color is a very specific and, and it's the color I think sand. It's sand color from the brand um, Serpentex, I think. Okay, so not everybody will have it and it's not that common, but if you don't have any kind of like a ivory, you know, you can play with um, maybe toffee or white. You know, alpacas can be white too, or even brown. But because this Christmas, I'm thinking, should I try and make it with um, white? Now, the cool thing about this color sand is then with brown, you know, Sharpie, you can pretend all this is kind of like representing the fluffy part of the alpaca. Because it's a fluffy one, right? Uh, then this is represent ears. Now, another cool thing is I'm just playing with balloons 260. Uh, so there we go. Let's start. Let's see. Uh, two balloons for sure for the alpaca color. So then what colors that could be? Should we try with white thinking that not and then we're, you're gonna see oh you like it or not? So I'm thinking I'm gonna play with white Red and green because those are already Christmas colors and we can play them if you have remember if you have this type of a color sand awesome because that will be the best one I think or toffee and uh, Remember this channel goes great thanks to your support. So you can always support this channel, checking out below in the description of all my videos. There is ideas how to support this channel. I have my Venmo account, I have my PayPal account, so you can collaborate. So that way I can get more balloons, <laughs> especially this color sand. It's not that popular, I don't have it, but uh, it will be great to have it for this type of designs. Uh, so let's see if it's not let's go with white let's go with white and uh i should have things ready but you know i went to a party and everything is you know there and it's heavy my stuff so i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna use this type of whites from this back i don't know if you can see it but it's thanks to you so let's play with these colors okay so i'm gonna go with uh, the colors i told you so this is the idea Let's go with balloons 260. I'm gonna use two whites, 260, one green, and then one red. Okay, so it's four balloons, it's not that bad, and considering that probably you're gonna have leftovers, yes. So let's start with playing the white. I'm using the noisy one. I should have my cool one, but it's not plug, but it's okay. If this is a white inflated, like approximately a eight finger tail, okay? eight finger tail and now tie it and this is another cool thing about this design i'm going to show you you're going to start this time from the legs sometimes why because then it's going to be better now i'm thinking instead of make it too long sometimes the legs you know because it's much cuter if you make a small sizes so if you see it now it's not that bad really it's not that bad the size because then it's bigger but i think a shorter is going to be cuter that's, so then doesn't look that skinny, but it's okay. So let's measure four finger long, four finger long, another four finger long. I'm gonna make it shorter to see how it's gonna look. Then you're gonna make a two finger bubble, pinch twist, 
okay and look at how i'm gonna keep the pinch twist in a moment okay let's the idea is that keep the pinch twist is gonna be not like this it's better for this design like this because that's another way to represent the, the tail the tail for alpacas and llamas are kind of like this like phew. I don't know if you get it. So it's going to be, instead of horizontal like this, you're going to put it, instead of this, you're going to put it like this. Okay? It's a, it's a detail. And I'm telling you because I'm Peruvian. <laughs> I know a lot of podcasts. And the tails are like this. Now, again, another four finger long. So how cute and cute is it going to be this design? Then four finger long, four finger long. So look, all shapes, you know, we're going to try to make it four finger long. Only this pinch twist, two finger. Then four finger, four finger, four finger, four finger, four finger. So this is the tummy, and this is gonna be pew, 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 the front legs. And then I'm gonna make two pinch twists to keep the neck more stable in case you want the design to have the, the head in the front or to the side, you know, looking hot. Let's keep it this way. So, so far we have this, okay? Uh, what else from here? Uh, the neck doesn't have to be, you know, that long, depending. If you use a llama, then the neck is going to be much longer, but a paca doesn't have it that long. So I'm going to go with just no more than better three. Three finger long. And then from here, we're going to make a loop that is going to represent one cheek and then another loop for the other cheek. So like three finger loop, three people with you, another three finger loop, three people with you. Then we're gonna make a two finger bubble pinch twist. Okay. And then with whatever is left over, this is gonna be something interesting. Uh, lose the air, but if this one was three, maybe this one can be four, soft and squishable, and then make it into a pinch twist too. The one that is bigger is gonna represent more what is gonna be the this part where you're gonna draw the nose and the smiley face, okay? So you have something like this, look, it's three finger loop, three finger loop, three finger bubble pinch twist, four finger bubble pinch twist, something bigger for the front. Okay, so you have something like this. Then, and this is the cool part, this is a cool technique, and I hope you like it because I get excited when I do something and it's like, mm, I like it. You're going to get your second balloon white in this case because that's what we have now. So we're gonna play. Oh my goodness, nice, nice, sorry guys. It's like eight finger tail, and for this, this this balloon, you're not gonna use it all, but you don't need to inflate it that much. So eight or nine finger tail will be good enough. And we're gonna start um, making one of the ears. So the ears, you can just kind of like, it's gonna be four finger bubble, but it's split it like this in half. And so you have a shape there, or soften and squish it, and then you can bend it. It looks cuter when you bend it. And it's in, Total four finger long, no more. Okay, then two finger bubble pinch twist. So then you have one ear. Then the other one, you're gonna measure something like four finger long, twist, 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 another two finger bubble pinch twist. Then you're gonna go back and make another bubble like this, okay, to the side. Four finger long. Yep, Cecilia, are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Four finger long. And twist, 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 twist. Now, this is the trick. This is the cool trick. You're gonna squish the air, okay? And this is something that I told you before for other designs, but, so grab this part, and squish the air. Look, look how I'm squishing the air. Okay, pull, and pass it the other side. Ah, ha, ha. Pass it the other side, okay? Not too tight, but kind of like something that you can do this in a moment. Pulling hard a little bit, you can do this. Okay? Then you're gonna measure another four finger long, soft and squishable because, or you can do it right now in the half, twist it like two finger each side, pinch a little bit of bending, leave it here out. So then it's a little bending there, the four finger long. And cut it, leaving a tip because you're gonna tie it. This piece, you don't need it anymore. You don't need it anymore, you don't need it anymore. Woo! So that's why you have, you know, this part for another idea, okay? Now you have this and you have this string that it can be from the bottom. 
okay look at this look at that you're gonna pass it into any of these pinch twists whatever is easier probably the smallest pinch twist yeah just pass it look just pull a little bit and pass it that's it and accommodate it and it's going to stay there now the pressure of bubble is going to make things stay there and this is the cool design the cool idea i like it it's awesome in other designs instead of make the eyeballs okay and this is optional but instead of make the eyeballs black eyeballs because it's have big dark eyes the alpacas that i talked about um you can make it just by sharpie time here okay right here and this is totally going to be kind of like uh disappearing you know disappearing with the whole idea of covering if you prefer like this but pretty much is this design again is not that uh, perfect in some way but at the same time it's not that bad i like it so you can squeeze the bubbles kind of like accommodate it and things are gonna just stay there this way look the pinch twist okay now if here are gonna be the eyeballs you will see and here the nose unless you want here the eyeballs to be but i think it kind of looks okay i like it if the nose is here and then the eye was here and you can just do that short time now from here we have pretty much an alpaca with two balloons but we're gonna make something else that is gonna be the christmas hat or the christmas elf idea because i make already kind of like an alpaca with a santa design and this can be like the elf but again you play with different colors it's going to be totally fine so now i'm going to use the green to 60. and this is what we're going to do with the green to 60. you're going to inflate it approximately a finger a finger tail lose some air you're going to start making the little shoes and we're going to make the shoes green because it looks cute and why not and it's not like takes that much you make two bubbles two finger each twist it together and then make a double pinch twist whatever you prefer but the idea is two pinch twists there okay then cut leaving a tip and that tip is going to touch it to the legs and this you repeat yep now a lot of things are optional of course you don't have to do it you feel well i'm in a hurry i'm in a hurry i don't i don't have to do this you don't have to do this of course not but it's a detail because it's christmas time Da -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -dum. So you just make two things this. Okay, then you cut, leaving a tip, okay? Don't forget, leave a tip there. Now, with the rest, pretty much it's gonna be for the Santa hat. But because I'm thinking we're gonna make it fun, you know, you're gonna now use this piece, whatever is left, left over, look. So it's a lot, something like, like this, whatever. And then, then you're gonna grab your red balloon because this is more like an elf design. And really, if you have already, you're gonna recognize something in a moment. You have remember the white uh, leftover too. You have a white leftover. You can make, you know, the pom pom and this part white. But in order to make it more fun, another color will be gray. So it's gonna look more like, you know, Christmas colors. So, but with this, you can always do it what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, you have the red, and it's gonna have a red pom-pom this time. A finger tail, you're not gonna use it all, you're gonna have leftovers, two finger loop, twist, 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 that's gonna represent the pom-pom. Then you're gonna make a two finger bubble pinch twist. Okay, you have this ready, and this piece, how long do you want it to be? Well, it does, it is okay, you decide. Now, sometimes if you want this and it's going to be all this long, that's okay. It can be shorter. But if you already have this tip here, let's use it, right? Because you have the other side with the tip. So I'm going to pass it in between, you know, the top, the top of the head. Right there, we're going to pass it. And this is going to also kind of like make sure things are more stable, you know, so you pass it around, you see? So maybe the whole thing is I showed you before it wasn't necessary, but it's gonna make things easier in order for me to take it to the other side, you know, to to these ears, remember the way it starts. You're gonna kind of like do it that way, even if you're not gonna pull that string wide. Because at the end with the green, you're gonna be doing it. Passing it to and <laughs> okay. Now you are here. You kind of 
it's kind of like really cool i'm gonna put it this way and only because then in order to make fun i'm gonna put it right here let's see or the other side let's see you have it like this and i'm gonna make sure i want people to see the pom-pom closer here so i'm gonna grab it and the rest i'm gonna pass it around just like this pass it around cecilia how long just pass it around <laughs> How big it's like something like a five finger loop if you want exactly that it's then this you don't need it anymore cut you don't need this anymore pass it around and this is again dedicated to grandma b because grandma b is awesome and always she wants me to make things that are kind of like why to complicate myself and it still can be cute only balloons 260 okay you have it look I start making sure I want the pom-pom to be in the front like this. And this piece, then with the pinch twist in the back, is going to go and go around like a five-finger loop. Maybe if it's easier for you, of course, because it's good to be easier. You just make the loop. You just make this five-finger loop. Okay? And then just pass it all the way there down and accommodate it wherever you want it to be. Okay, so you have something like this, then just grab this, whatever it is you have left over, and attach it into that pinch twist and the loop. Secure it, pass it a couple of times there, and that's it. And ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know exactly how things are gonna be, but this is the way it turned out. A lot of things you can make it much more, uh, much better, yes. But this is how it's gonna be for me. And I think it's cute, it's adorable. Let's put the shoes on. It doesn't have to be probably that big, you know, the hat, but why not? Why not? Because, you know what? Everything, it's all played with your imagination. The kids also can uh, think, oh, I like the idea. Because sometimes we're used to, I'm just passing this pink twist, uh, like the shoes. But sometimes we are used to cut things bracelets. And really, this can be like your alpaca, your Christmas alpaca purse. And here's a holder i think it's adorable let's keep going okay let's keep going and let's make the eyes so now that we are already using um you know white to do kind of the fluffy part is not gonna be a good idea because the white sharpie on white is not that well you can try maybe with some blush and make some fluffy parts you know with blush we're gonna try and you will see but i'm gonna show you how to make cute eyes you know and, and i was thinking you can make the eyes right here look just make big circles as separated as possible and then make some big around like this big circles like this that's how i see my daughter doing it so <laughs> i'm just kind of like that one is gonna be that is gonna save you more black sharper because you don't need to cover all and then the eyelash is gonna be pretty much in the middle of the whole big circle the middle and it's gonna be just like this i'm gonna go closer just something like that that's it and the same in the middle from the eye, the middle, and that's it, a little, something like that. That's it. That's it. You can make more lashes if you want, but that's it. It's okay. Now, the nose here, right here. All these big pinch twists, there. So how you can make a heart, you can make something like this. We're going to go simple, okay? You can make it different ways, it's okay. A little longer so you can see the angle and then here i'm gonna make a little line and you feel this is gonna be our representation of our cute alpaca face um if you want brown could be a cool color to add only if you want you know but to make it cute just pass it around um to make big eyes now a separately the eyes is gonna be better so I know, but just have big eyes, but as separated you can make it, it will be better, probably. This is it. You can make cheeks if you want. Where to put the cheeks? Maybe here, right? Maybe here? Maybe. I'm not sure. Again, it, this is a pure experiment, but at the same time, I like it. I wanted to share it with all of you. Um, I think it's adorable. Now, let's go with the blush, just to see how it will look. Uh, I wish I found my, a blush. I found a blush here. So look, let's see. I'm gonna go with a fluffy idea. So we put something like this, look, like little W's. And you can make it in different spaces. Something that 
help to pretend it's roundish you see something to pretend it's roundish okay something like this for the ears if you want also you can add it you know uh, maybe my daughter will be making something like this but it's not necessary okay yes it's up to you a little thing there now i hope you like it then with the chicks let's go with this and see what we what this can look like just some circles and that's it tell me in the comments what do you think if you like it also you can make it with a little cute mouth coming out here if you want and make it red or pink but um this is the idea the shoes if you have red sharpie and you already have this green so we can keep playing with the idea of um christmas and just make some lines here look and that's gonna give it you know oh we have red we have white it's totally uh, and then even here you can make it with green lines or let's try and make it with red now make sure you have a, a good sharpie <laughs> because uh, mine is not that good but it's optional again and you can always decorate it the thing is you have something as an idea okay this was my first attempt and this kind of gonna be a fast version which i think is cute too it's not that bad i'm just going crazy another little look my christmas ornaments i put it there because sometimes they represent the alpacas kind of carrying some stuff there right so you can do that i have stickers but the thing is my stickers are not that um come what is the word like you know bright the colors but i'm gonna choose maybe one okay and it can be just a little representation remember things doesn't have to be exactly you can even do it with sharpie a little you know blanky or something like that i'm gonna put another color it's a little bit darker but just to pretend it's carrying something there and this is just the idea i think it's adorable i think it's super cute please tell me in the comments what do you think i feel amazing doing this again the variations are pretty much the same idea okay instead of using uh, red i put some dark green and lime green um but pretty much it's mm, then look at the hat i'm making a spiral and here i just make it whoop like that and that's gonna be i think much fun not much more easier and you see that little pom-pom red you know i did some variations i think it's great design i hope you like it please tell me in the comments because your comments your likes all that counts please subscribe to the channel and again i hope you uh had a wonderful uh, Christmas time, holiday season, whatever is your religion. Mine is just celebrating whatever. I don't have a religion. <laughs> I just enjoy all celebrations, especially because I just take it in the, what is, um, it sounds kind of like um, crazy, right? pagan. Like I don't really uh, go into exactly what it is. I just celebrate, you know, with family. It's a good thing for me, oh, especially this year. My family from Peru is coming, so I will have for the first time in my life here in Cheyenne, my dad, my mom, my brother, <laughs> celebrating Christmas here. So that's going to be wonderful. That's why um, I don't think I'm going to make more designs uh, for Christmas. So this is the last video for Christmas. I hope you like it and I hope you make it. If you make it, please tag me on social media because that also it's, makes me feel wonderful. And at the end of my videos, I will share the pictures you you tag me okay because it's important you tag me there's so many designs already this channel have hundreds of designs so i'm not really recognize all the designs you know and there's so many places you can learn how to make you know figurines on the internet so or even any other place so if you don't tag me it's gonna be hard for me to recognize it's my design but please tag me that way i can share the, you know your picture at the end of my videos um, you, you don't have to mention me and create a whole dedicatory. No, just in the comments of your own, you know, post, you just add this, add Alpaca Global. That way I'm going to be able to see it and that's it. Okay. I'm going to show you today. I'm going to a birthday party. It's not Christmas, but it's the mermaid and ah, so many mermaids. So, but this is another way just instead of having 350 balloons, I'm using all 260 and change lime green, dark green and play with that. Another good thing is uh, the head is pretty much a 11 inch round linking balloon, the head and also the tummy. And then all this is a 260 for the arms with a pinch twist in the front and with a pinch twist even in the back. Because the way I make the hair, 
it was kind of like um uh, tiny in the back i don't know if you can see it's tiny and then i'm not making all this bunch of hair from the neck i'm just a little bit up i like that way you know and then the bra something like this bubbles um but uh, I think I made some already tutorials about mermaids and this is kind of like, I know a lot of you looking at the design can kind of like figure it out. Doesn't have any blue dots. I'm not, I'm not adding blue dots as ears or the nose, you know, it's just like this. All sharpie time and twisting balloons and no glue dots. That's it. I'm going to a pool, so, you know, adding glue dots, I think it's not gonna work that well, especially with the temperature. And of course I made my hat and you know what? This is gonna be uh, my last event for, before Christmas. So I'm very excited because then after that, I'm gonna enjoy time with my family. Have a wonderful Christmas. So um, what else? What else? Uh, I couldn't make live video the other day that it was at the mall. I had this experience for the first time be twisting balloons at the mall, being hired to be twisting balloons in the mall here in my town. And it was great, but you know, I was already tired. Why? Because I've been the day before been making balloons for seven hours for a balloon decor and then the next day also feel like oh i'm tired so i even was able if i wanted to stay at for 8 p.m that closes the mall but i couldn't you know and i think it's also because i'm not in my best um uh, you know energy time <laughs> i still kind of like uh, feeling you know like i'm still recovering i guess so i have to remember listen to myself don't go too far you know listen to my body now, I'm leaving for sure. It's a long video, yes, but I, also I want to um, have this moment to send you my good vibes. Enjoy the holidays, whatever it is, what you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, look, I feel this way. Even if you don't believe in something and it's a, a kind of like idea of celebration, celebrate. Oh, oh. Enjoy this time, you know, to rest, you know, relax. Because um, for me, it's that's it. There's no more events and just enjoy you know christmas and especially because my family is going to be here okay don't forget like comment subscribe and please please pretty please check below in the description for my videos there's a lot of ways how to collaborate your collaboration your support totally motivates me to keep going making videos design sharing these cool ideas with all of you I think this design is totally worth it. I think this design is going to be adorable. Look how practical. It's not like, oh, but look, it's very sturdy. Like the idea that it's going to shake it, doesn't need blue dots, and it's all about 260. I think it's a cool, cute design. Look, kids can have it like this. And so that way, you know, they take it with them like that. It's adorable. I love it. I love this design. <laughs> and I feel so happy that it came as the last one. The last Christmas design of the year, 2023. So let's see what is going to happen in 2024. Always, you never know, but I feel that it's never ending. With balloon twisting, you can keep creating and creating. Just if in a moment you don't have, you know, creativity, or you feel like, oh, I can't, give it a break. It's good too. Take a break and you will see. It will come ideas to you. Have a wonderful day and see you in see you i hope after christmas i hope i have time to share something ideas for new year's eve but if you already are thinking about new year's eve ideas remember all the designs you can make this alpaca and instead of this hat it can be with chrome you know chrome golden things and there's the fancy alpaca for new year's eve um new year's eve also there is a playlist on my youtube channel that is new year's eve designs or something like that so you will see a lot of cool ideas that works great that's the moment if christmas i told you use your lights okay new year's eve for sure must why not use your lights and use all your scraps all the leftovers this is a moment to throw everything so that means inflate it even if it, cecilia you may think even this piece is broken yes inflate it and make a uh what is this piñatas you know the in, put it in big balloons and boom, take it to your event so kids can have fun popping and pew! Or just drop it, you know, with a, what is, things to drop balloons, you know, those nets and drop all your balloons. Kids would love to take them, you know. You can always make kind of like um, fireworks and check it out that, because I already showed all these ideas, I think, in that playlist that is New Year's Eve design. Okay, I'll let it. I know, Cecilia, breathe. I know, I know, I know. I'll, okay, I'm leaving now. I just always think, a man have something else to tell you well 
I always like to tell uh, people that I already registered for Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam Balloon Convention. So that means in July 2024, I already registered to be there. So if you are planning where balloon convention should I go, well, it will be great to, I, I think it's also a good start to go to Las Vegas Bling Bling Jam because it's a place that you, one thing you're going to make friends, you're going to enjoy this time too with awesome people, you know, that love balloons and that's the whole point to be there for the love of balloons, the joy that brings balloons, you know, we do a parade. There is competition, but you don't have to compete, so you don't feel this pressure sometimes to compete and be what, number one. It's not necessarily, I don't like it really. And the first time only was, I think, the time that, okay, let's do it. But um, I think now for me, it's gonna be another experience, okay? My second time there, I had the chance to be what is one of the judges. And now I think it's gonna be a good experience. <laughs> to now be there as a tourist or, or as a person that enjoys you know the classes and have time to don't complicate myself with competition and just maybe we'll work on my costume for the parade because that is fun we'll all wear costumes and we go and walk around you know Fremont Street in Las Vegas so that's really cool and so there we go okay so visit for more information www.blimblingjump.com okay now for sure I'm leaving have a wonderful day and that's it I, i'm gonna make more videos for sure before this year ends ciao, ciao.